Hi guys, and welcome to our WWE Fast Move! 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 Hello, you alright, Colonel? Fine. Fast. Name. <laughs> Thank you, Cam. <laughs> so yeah, hi guys, and welcome to our WWE Fastlane prediction video. Yes, the final pay-per-view before WrestleMania 35. Yes, can't wait. But before that, we have Fastlane. And it usually is just, just a, usually a filler show just to keep us happy before WrestleMania. It, although last year was decent. You know, we got the six-pack challenge. Yes. Asuka, not, not Asuka, sorry. Um, Ruby, Ruby Riot and Charlotte. I know. Bobby Roode and Randy, I believe. <laughs> that was a good match. That's when Randy won the US belt. Yep. Yeah. Right for like a month and lost it to Jinder. Mm. <laughs> oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. But yeah, it's usually a fun little show, even though not a lot changes and happens on it. But yeah, and also, I just imagine, it's been two years we've been doing this because our, yeah. our very first prediction video together was Fastlane 20, 2017. So it's two years. Woo! Woo! Anniversary. Yeah. Come here, give me a kiss. <laughs> Come on, let's get started with our Fastlane. Right, first we have singles match for the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship between Asuka and Mandy Rose. <laughs> yeah, I like Mandy's theme tune. Anyway, um, <laughs> like you can see Vince in the back going, because oh, he loves Mandy. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so Mandy pinned Asuka last week on Raw with a roll-up pin. So now she's now the, what, the fourth the woman fourth to beat Asuka. Behind Charlotte Carmella. And um, who else did it again? Nia Jax. Nia. At Survivor Series yeah. last year, I think. Or the year before. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, this is just a filler match, really, just to keep Baska busy. Because she wasn't at Elimination Chamber, was she? Which everyone was surprised about. Because she, she hasn't done anything since the Royal Rumble. You know, but she put on an amazing match with Becky. And she, she beat Becky clean. Yeah. But then she didn't gave, they gave her nothing to do after the Royal Rumble. But she's back uh, for this pay-per-view. Um... Yeah, should be a good match-ish, I guess. Matt Mandy's okay. I feel like she's a bit underrated, Mandy. She can put on a good match. Maybe. Everyone just calls her the blonde Eva, Eva Marie, but I think she's better than Eva Marie. She's a good wrestler, Mandy Rose. When Eva Marie wasn't even that bad. She was. Oh. You've watched some of her NXT matches. But anyway, anyway. Um, uh, but yeah, I think this should be an Asuka. Yeah, Asuka, obviously. She's going to keep all the belt to WrestleMania easily. Where she might face, I don't know... Um, who else on SmackDown can she face? No, I'm trying to think who's that woman who keeps coming out. Lacey Evans. There's a rumour she might face Lacey Evans. Oh! And she, there's a rumour she's, she's going to be getting a big push what, after WrestleMania. Whatever, whatever, that's ages away. But yeah, for now, um, ask her. Yeah, and then Otis, Otis, Otis Dorsovich can come out and go, Oh yeah! Oh yeah! So, um, brilliant lady! So, um, yeah, ask her to retain, definitely. Definitely. Ask her to retain. Yes. Right, well that makes it easy for us. Yep. Uh, next, uh, let's go for the tag team match for the WWE SmackDown Tag Team Championships between the Usos of Jay and Jimmy. Yep. And the greatest goddamn tag team in the world of The Miz and Shane McMahon. Yes. So, um, um, Usos won the belts. Elimination Chamber. Yep, so uh, Shane and Miz only had, what, three weeks with the belts, which is pretty rubbish rain but I yeah. guess that's not the point of this I guess I feel like the whole point of this is just to set up Miz and Shane at Wrestlemania for their match one of them will turn heel on uh, yeah, on uh, Tuesday it's pretty obvious I'm not, not Tuesday I think it'll be at the pay-per-view on Fastlane oh, it be, yeah. it'll be at Fastlane definitely so I think they'll probably come close again but I think either Miz or Shane's going to accidentally cost them the match and then after the match Miz is going to be like oh, probably, probably attack Shane and that'll set up their, their match at Mania. I think it's, it's pretty obvious and I'll be down for it I think it could be a good a good feud both of those guys having a good go at each other. Um, and yeah, Usos. Which means the Usos retain. Yeah, obviously. But what do you think? Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I think the Usos are going to retain. But, mm. I mean, everything's pointing towards Shane being the one who turns heel because of what happened at Elimination Chamber. That could Miz. be interesting. Yeah, because Miz went crazy backstage. Didn't so <laughs> what if, you know, what if Miz... Because Miz basically forced this match, mm. this rematch. If he loses again, then Shane might flip and turn heel. I think, I think Shane will be the one to turn Ooh, heel on the That would be very interesting. Very interesting. Well, I, I do think Miz turning heel is very predictable. So, Shane. And Shane, don't forget, Shane was a big heel back in the Attitude Era. Even though he's been a face ever since he came back. But I'd be interested in that. So, I think they could have a good match at WrestleMania. So, I'm down for it. Yeah, whatever. And Usos, I don't know who, they'll probably be on the pre-show at WrestleMania. <laughs> uh, the next tag team match. Um, right. For the WWE Women's Tag Team 
championships. We have the champions, the boss and hug connection of Bailey and Sash Banks, um, versus what do they the, what do they call themselves? The Samoa the Samoan slaughterhouses. Yeah, they call themselves the Samoan slaughterhouse of uh, Nia Jax and Tamina. Yes. Um, so yeah, I have an elimination chamber. Becky and Becky Charlotte. Fucking hell. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta keep it. Fucking hell! I'll do the whole, all the horse, all the horse women. <laughs> so Sasha and Bailey won the belts at Elimination Chamber, the first ever women's tag team champions. If you don't count the ones back in, what, you almost the, said SmackDown champions. Yeah. Okay. If you don't count the ones back in the eighties, uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm really happy they won. I think they were very well deserved, yeah. and I think they should go on to have a good, ma- good reign with the belts. So it's very obvious. I think they're going to retain here and probably face Trish and Lisa at WrestleMania. I think apparently. I, I think that'll be a good match, like a passing of the torch. Like Natalia and Beth Phoenix. Oh no, I think Trish Those and Lee. Trish and Lee is a much bigger match, I think. Well, yeah, but, but yeah, but, yeah, but yeah. I, think, I think it's a tough match. WrestleMania, obviously. So yeah, they're not going to lose the belts yet. Yeah. Only they only had them for three weeks. So that would be cool, but Boss and Hug. Yeah, There's barely in Sasha. I mean, Tamina and Nia are not, aren't not going to win. Oh my god, imagine if they did. No, no. I mean, I like Nia Jax. I just I can't stand Tamina. So. <laughs> I'm not standard. <laughs> I don't think anyone can. Yeah, so, yeah. Sasha and Bayer to retain. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, the last announced match so far, um, it was changed last night. Um, it was, very... As you can see here. ben in it ben in it Originally, <laughs> yeah. it was supposed to be Daniel Bryan versus Kofi Kingston for the WWE Championship yep. at Fastlane. Yep. But instead, Vince McMahon came out and said, Kofi, you're not good enough. I'm replacing you with this man. That's, 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 that's pretty Thanks. good. Man. And this man turned out to be yeah. Kevin Owens. So yeah. we have Daniel Bryan versus Kevin Owens at Fastlane. Yes. Um, crazy, really. No one predicted this. We all thought we were just going to get Kofi and Daniel at Fastlane. Um, yeah. But I, and everyone, a lot of people are pissed off about this, aren't they? Really pissed off because it's the exact same storyline with Becky getting taken out of the match at WrestleMania with Ronda. But... It, guys, it's a work. I mean, people I get way too annoyed about this. I've seen on Facebook. It's a work. Obviously, co- they're building up the suspension for Kofi to win it at WrestleMania. So that's what they're doing here. Uh, I'm happy to see a KO back. Yeah. I think he's been he's been out for ages, and he's back. He's back with his new finisher, the Stunner. Yes, he pinned he pinned last Brian. Night. He, he hit the top of Powerbomb. Yeah, Brian kicked out with the Stunner, and then he pinned him with the Stunner. And well, he has hit the Stunner before. I think with his matches in John Cena. John Cena. This, this is like a finisher, and he, he pinned Brian with it. So I like it. And then like everyone it. on commentary was like, Stone Cold Stunner! <laughs> Stone Cold's like, How dare you, KO? So, what? No, but apparently, Stone Cold loves it. He said on Twitter about ages ago. But anyway, um, yeah, I think it'll be a good match. I'm happy to see KO back. Even though I think it's pretty obvious Brian's going to retain. Brian's going to retain. Because he's not losing the belt for WrestleMania. But I do have a, a pretty good prediction for this match, actually. But I'm not sure if it'll happen. But um, So, yeah, the match, I'm sure it'll be a good match. And I think, Are you going to say something about Sami Zayn coming back somewhere? Maybe. Um, so what I think will happen is Kofi's going to come out near the end and be like, I'm just furious. He, get, he gets involved. Then I think Sammy is going to come out. He's going to come back as well. Sammy's going to come out and try and save KO, but maybe he accidentally hits a haluba kick on KO or something like that. And um, then because of that, um, Daniel t- gets the pin on a KO and retains. And then at WrestleMania, we have a fatal four-way. Sammy, KO, Kofi, and Brian. Well, that's, just, that's just a prediction. But I think that'll be a, a pretty good match. Um, and, and of course, Kofi can win it at WrestleMania, which I think will be amazing, baby. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I'm going with um, I'm going with Brian to retain here. Yeah, it's because I love KO. <laughs> yeah, I'm going for Brian to retain too, but mostly because I just think it's going to be maybe not, maybe not clean because obviously Eric yeah. Rowan's knocking around. And I'm not sure if KO's a heel or a face or not. Yeah, in those promo packages, he was like a face, but he really- came back. Just took one of the biggest faces in the company's spot. Well, Vince did. K.O. Well, just came right, out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> K.O. was like, oh. But he didn't say anything, apart from mm. when they, him and Kofi teamed together to beat... It's like, it's like good uh, move. To beat Brian and... He's got a tattoo as well. I know, yeah. It's a full arm tattoo. Yeah. And then he pointed, he pointed at Kofi like, yeah, go on, like, se- like ref, like, celebrate mm. with him. And like, yeah, what's going on? I, but... Um, I think that it will be Kofi and uh, Brian at WrestleMania. Just singles match. Just those two. Just for Kofi to, to beat Brian finally through because he's been taken out of this match, you know. Yeah. Um, came across the Elimination Chamber, has pinned Brian twice. It's all leading up to it. And I think it's best to do it in a singles match. So I feel like Brian will just retain through shenanigans with Eric Rowan. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think too. I don't think KO's taking the pin clean. 
because he, he's only just come back. So, um, yeah. And then we can get Kofi winning at WrestleMania. You think it'll be a singles match? I think it might be a fatal four way, but um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, if this match had gone ahead with just Kofi and Brian, I probably would have said Brian, and then Kofi gets another match maybe at WrestleMania. But, um, but yeah, you, one thing you do need to keep in mind is that this whole Kofi Kingston push, the only reason it's happened is because he's, he was covering... Because Mustafa, Mustafa Ali. Yeah, I think Mustafa Ali was going to be the one having this massive push at Elimination Chamber on the Gauntlet match. But because he got injured, they put Kofi in the slot instead. So I only think... That would I, be quite sad, wouldn't it? I, know, I, I, I think that's, what, that's what's <laughs> happened. Like, there was Mustafa Ali at home thinking... I yeah. shouldn't win in the time. I know, he's like, this, is, this should be my spots and all that, but I do think when he comes back, he'll probably challenge Kofi for the belt. Maybe, maybe after WrestleMania, but that's, that's very long-term booking. So, yeah, that's our predictions for Fastlane. Um, only four matches, but I do have a few matches that might might be announced. We're just going to run through them quickly. So, I think we might might get Becky and Charlotte, because there's been a few there's been a few articles reporting that, from a leaked match card, that Becky and Charlotte are going to have a match, and the winner of that faces Ronda at WrestleMania. So to give the fans back what they want, Becky gets put... Because obviously Becky's going to get put back into the match eventually. And I think that would be a pretty cool way to Ronda do it. Ronda just vacated the Raw Women's Championship, Well, storyline vacated. She's still the Women's Champion. She's not, she hasn't lost the belt or anything. It's a storyline. She's obviously she's going to have the belt next week on Raw. So I, I don't think it's a storyline vacation, obviously. But, but I think she's still the champion. But, but yeah, anyway, Becky and Charlotte. I think that might be announced next week. Maybe. And the winner faces Ronda at WrestleMania. Becky. <laughs> um, Charlotte can... I don't know. Bugger off. Ask <laughs> Yeah. Um, and then we might get the Revival ta- defending their belts against someone, but, uh, maybe. maybe but- or maybe it could be a triple threat tag team championship match between the Revival, DIY, and Ricochet and Alistair Black. Oh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've not been a fan of the NXT call-ups. Let's see with Wrestle Talk. I just, I feel like they've brought them up with no story at all. And, and Gar- Gargano and Champa are just like, like nothing, like nothing's happened. Even though they've had a massive feud in NXT last year, the faces now. <sighs> it's, oh, I but that. is Champa still a heel in NXT? Because I'm, I'm he, surely he can't work that way. I don't know. It's so confusing. Uh, they just, I bet, I, apparently, Triple H and Vince McMahon had, a, had a quite a big, oh, yeah, apparently. quite a big fallout backstage over how it's been handled. But well, I don't blame them. Anyway, and our truth might defend his US belt up against someone. I mean, he, he retained his belt last night against against um, against Ray and Andrade for the cheeky roll up pin. He pinned Ray and McMahon was like. Yeah. What's up? Uh, he might have a match with someone. Um, and Finn might defend his belt up against Bobby Lashley or Lashley. Or Leo, Leo Rush. Rush. <laughs> Fucking hell. So yeah, might get, oh, we might get so that. so funny on Raw in the moment of Bliss segment. When, when, oh, when she, she, when she was like, show me your abs and I'll show you my... <laughs> Oh, it was bad. It was when so Leo Rush came out. Poor it was really cringy. I, I know, I so it. bad. And bit, oh, God. Electra and Finn are so much better than that, but whatever, whatever. whatever. Um, so yeah, guys, those are our fast lane predictions. Fast lane, fast lane. Um, yeah, guys. I've walked for miles inside this pit of danger. Hey, honey. <laughs> I, just, I just want to say that Batista came back last night. Yeah, I'm really, really happy real. because yeah. Batista's one of my base. So. Yeah, and we're getting Batista from Triple H at WrestleMania, which we will talk about a lot in our WrestleMania prediction video. Exactly. Woo! I'm, really pumped. I'm not even a massive Batista fan, and I'm still pumped for that match because there's a lot of history between the two, isn't there? So <gasps> can't wait. It's going to be Batista merch. I have to buy it. Yeah, get it for your WrestleMania. Get, get it for your our WrestleMania prediction video. He's definitely gonna get merch, definitely. So, um, yeah, guys, thank you all for watching, and um, our next video together will be WrestleMania 35 predictions. Woo! Can't wait, WrestleMania 35. Yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you all in about in a few weeks, probably, for our WrestleMania 35 prediction video. So, <laughs>